what's up everybody this is motion technology here and today in this video i would be reviewing you the dirty unicorns uh, rom for the google nexus 5 so currently this rom is running on the latest version of Lollipop, which is fido 101 as you can see here let me go ahead and zoom it a bit and as you can see that this is fido 101 and the version of this rom is 9.4 which is the official build and the latest build you would be getting super super build in which is the best thing about this rom and this are the this is pretty similar to the stock settings you won't be getting additional features but you would be getting an, uh, another menu like here as you can see which is customization written from which you get dirty unicorns where you have a lot of uh, customizations here this is one of the most customizational uh, rom available for the nexus 5 you have general ui uh, from which you can mess tweaks then you get uh, LCD density. So if you know about LCD density, you can do that. If you don't know, just leave it uh, that uh, how it is, because you can just uh, destroy your phone screen. Because yeah, that's pretty uh, hard to learn. You have a uh, different DPIs. So I know about that, but I prefer to use it as stock. Then you have lock screen shortcuts. Uh, this is pretty similar to all the moms. Then you have uh, app shortcuts let's take a look at another uh, column which is stage bar you have traffic indicator as you can see i have enabled that then you get clock and date which is also enabled and you can just customize that you can just get that you can just remove that or get that in the center then you have battery options so battery options uh, again are really nice that's pretty similar to all the roms you can air uh, that feature on the roms then you have uh, the status bar customizations. I just uh, did that for. You can just customize as uh, you want. You have a lot of features. Uh, you can just get the tiles changed. Then you have carrier label. So this is pretty similar to the iOS devices because you can carry a label on the left. So I don't prefer to on that because it just takes you half of your status bar. Look. You have navigation bar. If you have a LMT gesture, you can just uh, enable and disable that, which is the best thing. Yeah, you can just customize that however you want. You can just dimension, you can just customize that with your dimension. As you can set this made it too small. Then you can just get the nav bar width. You can just change that too. Then you have uh, navigation ring targets. As you can see that ring, you can just customize that, which is again a nice feature. You can multitasking, so this is Omni Switch. So you can Omni Switch with this ROM, which is uh, one of the best feature dirty unicorns are known for you can just uh, customize your phone and if you are running uh, any app you don't want to go to home and do that you can just do that like this which is uh, pretty easy and simple so you get this home button then you get recent apps button uh, here then get settings button so from which you can just disable your navigation bar and use that feature which is pretty helpful Let's go to another feature which is gesture anywhere. So you can just run that too and guess any gesture you want. Like yes. Yeah, you can just add gestures. You need to add first uh, before using this. You can app circle bar. So as you can see, this is the app circle bar feature. So this is, yeah, as I told you, one of the most customizable ROM. You get heads up. So if you don't like that heads up notification on the top, you can just disable that if you want. You get system. So these are pretty much all the system uh, features you get recents from which you can just disable recent a uh, search bar in recents yeah i do that you can just change it to top right if you have a break hands i am comfortable with the top one because i can just do that uh, however you i want then i uh, let me go ahead and go to settings again then we have ad blocker which is one of the best uh, feature you won't get this with all the bombs from which you can just block the ad you want you get buttons so from which uh, you can just uh, press this button to make it device. Very nice. Then you have a wake lock blocker. So I don't have any idea what. Okay, yeah. So these application when they uh, these they, this is not application. These features when they work, they just uh, opens your yeah, wakes your device. You can just uh, block those things. You have animations from which you can just change the system animations, like. Uh, yeah, the row thing, they, that is really nice. It looks pretty nice, and yeah, that's a lot of customization. And you have miscellaneous, which is the download center. So you can just uh, download Kernel or G apps. 
So this is, uh, okay, as you can see that animation coming, I just changed that. So why this is uh, nice, because uh, you don't go to the xda.com uh, and many other uh, places and just search for that. You can just go to here and you can just go to the uh, ROM section. So which is pretty nice. So this was it. And now you get uh, the most, uh, the last, not the least feature is the theme engine. This is one of the best uh, customizable thing with, uh, you get with all the ROMs. Get theme engine. So from theme engine you can just uh, install anything you want on your device and just uh, use that. So this is it. If you like this video, just put it here with thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you. In my